Hi everyone and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pan and thank you so much for joining me again. Instead of tea, I'm just enjoying some nice cool water during this hot Toronto summer. And I just want to continue on my series on the Toronto International Film Festival. I want to share with you a favorite memory I have from watching the first screening of First They Killed My Father, directed by Angelina Jolie. And the cool thing about this from the get-go was that the first screening was not a premium, despite the high wattage name of the director behind it. And I think that was super cool because it does open it up to more folks because it doesn't carry that hefty price tag. And after the film, Angelina Jolie came out along with the author of the namesake book. And it was really cool to hear how they got involved. So Angelina Jolie was filming Tomb Raider at the time in Cambodia and she wanted to educate herself on the local history. So she walked into a small bookshop and picked up a copy of First They Killed My Father. And the story just resonated with her. She got in touch with the author and the two of them decided to create this beautiful film together. And what's interesting about this film is that it centers on child actors. And so they want to shoot the film from a child's perspective. So in order to do that, again, because sometimes it's hard, like when you're an adult for so long, what do children look at? What do they focus on? They would pay attention, um, Angelina Jolie would pay attention to what the child actors would look at when they came on set. Were they looking at a bird flying by? Did they look at a rock because the sun was shining on a certain angle? And so in the film, you kind of see the world through the main characters, uh, a girl's eyes, and you see that perspective change as she matures as well. So initially, she shies away from violence, and so you don't see very much. You hear sounds off camera. But later on, as violence becomes the norm in her day-to-day -day life, you see her facing it more head-on, more directly, because it is now as commonplace as, for example, eating lunch. So I highly recommend this film. It shows us what human beings are capable of, both from a horrific point of view and also from a point of strength. So this movie does focus on hope. It does focus on human resilience. And I think it's streaming on Netflix now. So please enjoy and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.